Hey, Shad here with SpeedX, the fast growing gear site on the web. And today we're gonna uncrate the Climb 2023 Avi bags. Before we jump in and give you a full rundown on the 2023 Climb Avi bag lineup, go ahead and subscribe. That helps get bring you the best gear reviews in the universe. And if at any point you decide you'd like to purchase one of these Avi bags, don't worry, there's a link in the description to below to shop for this or anything else you need for your next snow machine adventure at speedaddicts.com. So climb one of the leaders in the snow machine gear game adventure moto. They've pretty much got it all these days. One of the key pieces of equipment they've rolled out over the past few years are their Avi bag lineup. Okay, so they make two bags at the moment. They've refreshed them for 2023. They have the Aspect 16 liter bag. That is the one sitting on the table in front of me that's gonna come in the concealment black or the electric blue lemonade. And then they have the larger bag that's stashed behind me. We're gonna show you that too. That is the Atlas 26 liter. They both have the same upgraded Alpride E2 airbag system, which uh, when deployed will inflate up over your head and keep you on top of a slide. That is the key functionality of an Avi bag. So you're gonna get that airbag deployment. Stay tuned, I'm gonna do that for you at the very end of this video. That's the big payoff. We're gonna pop one of these bags and show you exactly how that works. So Avi bags are not inexpensive and these have gone up a little bit for the 2023 models because we do have some new technology. Again, it's the E2 All Pride airbag system. Uh, last year's model had the E1. So the E2 is larger volume, so it's a slightly bigger bag, it's lighter, and it does self-deflate -de after three minutes. So they bumped the pricing. The Aspect bag in front of me is going for $11.99. The larger Atlas bag is $12.99. This is not inexpensive, but when you consider it could be the difference between your truck pulling up at the end of the day after your ride and not, your spouse will probably sign off on this purchase. So when it comes to critical safety equipment, important not to skimp and it could take what would be a tragic day and turn it into one of your awesomest stories for the grandkids. So the Aspect, the one in front of me, this is the 16 liter bag. This is the one we're gonna do the walkthrough on first. Comes in two colors, like I said, you have the concealment black and the electric blue lemonade. We're gonna walk you through on the concealment black and then we'll get to the Atlas after this. Before I jump in, I wanted to warn you, these bags sell out every season. They sell out pretty fast. So don't wait until the snow comes. You might be too late. There's only one run every year from Climb. Once they're gone, you're waiting until fall of 2023 to get your hands on one of these. And remember, if you purchase from Speedax, you're gonna get free shipping throughout the United States and Canada. So we make that really easy. Let's dive in and show you this bag top from bottom. First up, we have a goggle compartment here. So we'll go ahead and open this up, show you kind of a hard shell goggle compartment. They even give you a little chamois to wipe your goggles down, which is pretty cool. On an elastic bag, you have an extra little compartment for goodies, maybe an extra set of lenses, and then your goggle compartment with a strap to keep stuff from falling out when you open this up. So that is your first compartment. Next up, you are going to get this exterior accessory compartment, tool bag, whatever you want to store in here. You have uh, a few different pockets. This is just uh, from the factory, uh, a little tissue there. But uh, yeah, you have a number of compartments in here uh, and another stowage compartment in there, pretty decent size. And one of the cool features they've added this year as well is uh, a rescue whistle here. I'm gonna test it out for you. There you go, it works. Okay, that is that compartment. You can stow stuff in between compartments these adjustable buckles can let you stash uh, whatever you might want to in here and you have some flexi mesh on the side. Okay, let's open up the emergency compartment. Now they've called this out with red zipper poles. So they know in an emergency situation, if you're telling your riding buddy to get out your shovel or probe, you just have to say, grab the one with the red zippers. That's where the important stuff is at. So let's open up this compartment now. This is where from the factory, they're gonna give you your uh, moisture resistant tool bag. We're gonna show you this first. You don't necessarily have to keep it in that compartment that we just opened it up, but that's where it comes from the factory. And here is your tool storage, which is pretty nice. They're gonna include that free of charge. I'm gonna get this out of the way and go back to the emergency gear compartment. <clears throat> Open it up. It's red, that's you know easy to figure out and you have uh, called out spots for probes and a shovel will fit in here, a snow shovel. 
You can see they've even put a little icon there so you don't get confused and some emergency instructions on how to flag in the uh, helicopter and how to lie your buddy so he can catch his breath. Uh, this is the emergency stowage compartment. There you have it. Okay, let's jump into the next compartment here. This is where the brains of the operation are. This is your uh, electronic super capacitor and compressor are located as well as your radio storage. So I'm gonna open this up, show you what we're working with here. First up, that radio pocket is right here. There is Velcro in between these compartments. It's gonna allow you to route your uh, cable up and put it over either shoulder. There are openings up at the top on each shoulder so that you can configure your radio and your rip cord on the sides you want. So this is fully ambidextrous. You can move this cord, it comes on the right side from the factory. You can switch it over to the left, have your radio on the right. However you wanna work it up, they've made it so that it's, uh, it's fully swappable. So radio compartment, you can stash other stuff in here. It's a pretty big pocket, but the thing we're gonna talk about next is that compressor. So if I open up this compartment, We'll show you what we're working with. Now, one of the things I'm gonna call out that they changed this year is you do have this little uh, pocket on the side that allows you access to the charging port for the compressor. And it'll also let you get in there and try to work the on and off button if you need to do that. Um, it's a little easier to access from the top, so I'm gonna show you over here. So, the super capacitor is cool because it is not gas. Uh, the super capacitor that's built in here that charges up, it holds a, a big charge of electricity and it's gonna power that compressor motor to inflate your bag. So that can be charged with your USB and should be charged fully topped off with your USB charger that they've included before you go out and ride. The next thing you're gonna have are a set of AA batteries. These are gonna keep the super capacitor topped off but it'll also allow you to recharge in the field. So should you get caught up in a slide, you deploy you use the juice in the super capacitor, these double A's will charge that back up. You can even carry some more. I don't know how many avalanches you plan to ride in in one day, but it is all made to be recharged and ready to rock in the field. You just have to fold up the bag in the right way and you're ready to keep riding should you have the nerve. So we're gonna move this out of the way so you can see what we're doing here. This is the on and off switch. So right now we are off. This is another thing they added in the E2 version of the All Pride uh, airbag system and because before they just had the lights on the side, they did not have this LCD display that shows you your battery life. So we're gonna hold this up, click it over. This is gonna do a self-test run through. You're gonna get a green light, you'll be ready to ride. You get the, uh, the battery life indicators. We are fully charged with both our AA battery and our super capacitor. We are ready to deploy. So the advantages of running the All Pride unit is you don't have gas canisters, canisters you don't have any lithium batteries you are ready to throw this on a plane and head to Alaska or wherever you might be riding. No flight restrictions. And like I said, you're ready to ride in the uh, field. If you do deploy, you can just get it right back to uh, charged up with those AA batteries. Okay, we're gonna move to our final compartment. That is where the airbag is stowed. Before we move forward, a few notes about the E2 version of the All Pride unit that I just showed you. That compressor is 40% smaller and 140 grams lighter than the previous E1 version that was included in last year's bag. And the airbag I'm about to show you is 162 liters as opposed to 150 liters. So you're getting more volume in the airbag, which is gonna do a better job of keeping you on top of the slide. More volume is what it's all about. Um, and they've also updated the bag itself a little bit. So you'll notice there is printing on this bag that shows uh, rescue where to find you. So it kind of directs to the front or back of the bat or the, uh, the backpack itself and points to your head. So if someone's digging for you, they know where to look. That's a new upgrade too. So this is the bag and this is the zipper compartment. It has a special breakaway zipper. You see that red, uh, red colored zipper. That's the part that uh, does not fully lock so that when you engage the airbag, it can just bust right out of here. After three minutes, this bag is going to deflate. Another upgrade from last year's bag. The previous bag, you had to trigger the deflation on your own. This one, after three minutes, it's gonna come down. We'll show you that in a minute. So like I said, ambidextrous. You can move your, uh, your rip cord to either side and your radio can get switched up. You have a simple click and zip to climb into the front chest harness. There it is. This has got some, um, some stiff, some rigidity. There's got some sort of plastic panel in here to keep this stiff so that it rides nice as you're cruising and uh, disperses the weight across your chest. And then on the bottom, again, this is the aspect 
The Atlas is a little different. It has more of a, a, a bigger belt on the hip. This has a safety harness. Okay, so this is gonna slip out and it does have a crotch strap as well. So this is how you jump into it around your waist. It's gonna keep the bag from moving off over your head. Uh, behind this panel, the back is nice and uh, updated here. This is molded. It's got a little bit of foam in it and it is real comfortable. It's also got some venting here. So this retains its shape pretty good. All the zippers on this guy are YKK. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Atlas now and we're gonna give you a quick run through. Most of the same features, it's just bigger. The few things that are different. It has the same exact airbag unit. It's the Atlas 26 because it is 26 liters. So the primary difference is that it's larger but it's got a couple slightly different features. The first one you're gonna notice is this probe holder on your left side. It's gonna allow you to deploy your probe, that's a tongue twister, by reaching back, the bag's still on your back, reaching back with your left hand, dropping this door, and your probes will drop right into your hand. So uh, when time is of the essence, this is a really nice feature to have. Okay, we're gonna flip this over and show you how you get inside it. It's also a little bit different. So you notice it does not have the chest plate on this front harness. You are gonna have a clip to jump into here. You do have two longer uh, shoulder supports, and you notice these zipper compartments that I have opened up to conceal your rip cord and your radio. Nice thing about this is when you have your radio tucked away, it's not gonna get all packed up with snow. And this is kind of like a spandex material. Sound can go through here so you can use your radio while it's uh, concealed, the rip cord. You're gonna wanna leave that out, I uh, suspect, in case you need it in a hurry. So uh, again, ambidextrous, so you can move these to different sides and adjust the level of where you want them to land. The hip, belt is a little bit different. You get this extra support here and you, uh, you get two pockets. So a little bit more storage on the hip belt. The harness itself down low is the same. You got the same uh, crotch strap plus uh, safety buckle down here. Okay, that does it for the callouts on this Atlas bag. Everything else on the front end is pretty much identical to the aspect. Otherwise I'd open these up and show them to you. It's all the same guts inside. It's just bigger storage compartments up here on the front. Remember both bags come with a lifetime warranty from Climb, they're great about staying behind their products, so this is gonna last you many, many seasons and a worthwhile investment. Okay, it's the time you've been waiting for. We are gonna do a test deployment on this Aspect bag. Let me grab it right now and we're gonna cut to the chase. So there you have it, in a couple seconds, you have a fully deployed 162 liter airbag above your head. As you can hear, this thing is nice and taut. It is fully inflated. And in about three minutes, it will deflate, allowing you to move. Hopefully your buddies are about to show up and give you a hand down the hill back onto your sled. And instead of having a tragic afternoon, you have one of the best stories you could ever tell the grandkiddies about. That is the Climb 2023 Avi Bag lineup. We appreciate y'all for watching. Head over to Spiax to purchase one now. Remember, don't wait. They do sell out every season. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time to find out what is in the crate. Okay, it's starting to deflate. You can hear it. But I think this is gonna to take too long to include in the video. You have to fast forward this. Not even gonna work out of studio like this.